Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and the Technicolor rainbow in between to the show of a lifetime. First up on the docket this evening, a tale of duality and condemnation, virtue and vice, a tale of a good man's sorrow and a bad one's verity, a tale of lamentation, resignation, indignation, and contempt, a tale of bargaining and compromise, of the distinct lack thereof. This is the Ballad of Dr. Jekyll in the Mr. Hyde Jive. Is it worth all the ringing? Is it worth all the pain? Is it worth the pretending? And the fear, the disdain? Is it worth the shifting countenance just to live how I'd like? Is it worth the split in conscience just to say what's inside? Is it really still working, this thin link facade? Can I really still maintain my emotional guard? My costume is tearing, my patience is wearing My ears begin to bleed as I feel a monster staring And the fear contorts to anger as I begin to see red And the anger grows remorseful as I return, return to bed Tragedy inside my head And there's so much to see here, so much more to do Yet I can't help but relinquish control off to you Perhaps our God in heaven, thought to be kind and just Isn't quite as forgiving as we once thought he was This vile abolition of liquor, tincture and salt Seems to be my seldom let from this hellish assault You sit there and tempt me over growing with envy Like a jealous, callous moss determined to train me till I'm empty And I know I shouldn't feed you, but somehow I feel the need to Like a deviant or a drunkard better run you'd better hide you'd better sneak away from the creature that's inside all it takes is one stray unfortunate bite to lay the foundation for the doom in which you will lie i know it seems so fun to spend all of your time Created in your mind Please do heed my warning Son, you're not so different to me The day that you succumb to me Is the day that we both die <laughs> Is that what you want to hear? Come on, man, no 
me to fear You've lived your life so clean and cattle So don't act so queer So even more so That you hate to bonus tell so Put your lips up to the bottle And let the lip with Ron is cost no Perhaps you've got to write If so, then that'll be Mr. Ron Awesome with the wicked deeds Come on, you've had your song They say that when a good man's eyelids Write a bad one's trick is born So say hello to the main event Say goodbye to the ball And raise a glass up to the one and only The lonely, unholy Scarlet Sunset Who's crimson 
right Set my heart ablaze When you shiver Sweet and pure And the blood pumps Goes to another place When you act so damn demure Half escapes Far too harsh a cadence For a woman of your allure Brand me forward But I think we'll help me The Dracula suits you more
I'm to be a lesbian. Yeah.
have seen me begun. Not even God's light will reach you. Yet wretch that I am, I beseech you. Chair underfoot, don't you tempt me. You'll find the way to life for free heavy. Frankenstein. Oh, settle down, settle down. I know. Frankenstein's the scientist. Oh, me? No, no, no. Don't be absurd. I've no tales to tell, nor songs to sing. Well, not of my own. So how about I regale you with the story of a dear friend of mine? My name remains unimportant. But this is an elegy for one Rudrick Usher, or the Haunted Palace. I staggered, as it were, upon yon shamble pallid house, not in gate, but in the soul. So desolate can an image of one's proud distinction be when interned beneath time's sacramentary toll. Insufferable the sight of such a miserable wretch as he, a friend at once alive and stone cold, dead, a musician of the string. He compelled his guitar to sing, and at last and for the first I heard such frightful, dreadful, doleful, dismal, intensely conscious dread, he said. In the greenest of our valley, a good angel's tenanted, want a fair and stately palace, radiant palace, reared head. In the monarch thought's dominion, it stood there. Never seraph spread a pinion over fabric of so fair. oh poor Madeline, such an anguished visage worn, a depression deeply soaked and yet so fresh. Ever will the memory of the pair of kin forlorn stake its claim upon my being, on my flesh. My pal and I, we mused, we dined, we spoke and laughed, or at least we tried. We all know now time's never been our friend. Nearly days passed us by, Madeline passed, Roderick cried. Thinking back, it must be then, the name of Usher met its end. On its roof did float and flow This, oh this, was in the olden time long ago And every gentle air that dallied In that sweet day Along the ramparts bloomed in the valley Owing odor led away Wanderers in that happy valley She once knew Lady Madeline seemed not but full of life Such I've heard is the irony of the cataleptic room A corpse that conceals the living strife But I admit from that night forward Comfort seldom graced my heart Till one dark night had wrung my senses warped and dry I followed, I thought the story could act to soothe my hysteric friend and I Even then I knew it futile, that I'd be damned if I could not at least try And all with pearl and ruby glowing, was a fair palace door Through which came flowing, 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 and sparkling evermore A troop of echoes whose sweet beauty of surpassing beauty to win and wisdom of the king. 
hungry, drunk, and full of might, sought the hermit, and sought to find a fight. And so he wrenched and ripped through the wooden screen with strength to befit him. But the champion stood enraged, amazed, to find flaring scales and tongue ablaze, and a shield of shining brass, legend in Britain. Who entereth herein, a conqueror hath been. Who slayeth the dragon, the shield he shall win. As the legend was fulfilled, Ethelred's ears were at once filled with shrieks so hard and harsh, such piercing din. All stirred by success, Ethelred, the gloried in excess, kicked the carcass out of path to his new boom. But Tarry not did it, and instead silver floor it hit, and let a mighty ring screech pervade the room. How skeptical am I of things called paranormal? Or at least back then that was the case. But as the sounds described on page became choral, I saw hysteria painted on his face. Looking past my eye not far beyond me, just as he screamed she saw her brother. And not seconds later they lied, two lifeless bodies each dead to gaze the other. I fled, afraid and aghast. Watched a crack begin to tear. Remember, I can say in truth they bore witness to the wall of the house of Usher. But evil things in robes of sorrow assailed the monarch's high estate. Ah, let us mourn, for never morrow shall dawn upon him desolate. And round about his home, the glory that blushed and bloomed. Is but a dim remembered story of the old time entombed. And travelers now within that valley, through the red lit windows, see vast forms that move fantastically to a discordant melody. While, like a rapid, ghastly river, through the pale door, a hideous throng rush out forever and laugh but smile no more. Special guests from across the pond we call genre. After all, we've never been one to follow the rules now, have we? So please do stick around just a little bit longer. I promise not to take up too much of your time. Gather around, we ain't got all day. You know the one? Well, if you don't, it goes like this. Fifteen men on the dead man's chest. Yo, ho, oh, ho, oh, and a bottle of rum. Drink and the devil are done for the rest. Yo, ho, oh, oh, ho, and a bottle of rum. Hawkins, my name, no glory but no shame Just a humble young barman with a glint in my eye Dawkins might claim all man is one and the same But I'd as already never witnessed a dirty scoundrel as I The ensemble of the fearful singing the bastards refrain and went Fifteen men on the dead man's chest Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum Drink and the devil Sleeping boy fight, Billy Bones sat alone with his liquor 
her in hand Till one dusking light when blue face became white And the old buccaneer lay dead with a black spotted brand In pity I thought of things and once my boy bump the band and sing Fifteen men on the dead man's chest
cold. If schooners, islands, and maroons, and buccaneers, and buried gold, and all the old romance retold, exactly in the ancient way, who pleases me, but they please the boat, the wiser youngsters of today. So yet, and go on, if not, if studious youth no longer crave, his ancient appetites forgot. Kingston or Valentine the Brave, or Cooper of the Wooden Wave, so be it also, and may I, and all my pirates share the grave where these and their creations lie.
Why don't we now? Ah, but this ain't your grandmother's man. <coughs> I was working in my study late one night when my mind sparked up with an idea so bright. A classic gothic party with a modern twist and one hell of a theme to it. It goes like this. Monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. It was the mash. It caught on the flash. It was the mash. It was the monster mash. An open invite bash for every monster fiend and beast. Wow. Seems old Renfield's in charge of the feast. Wow. For dinner, blood wine with fried orphan thigh. Wow. A mouse and cat pate served with caramelized flour. Before the mash. Before the monster mash. Graveyard smash. Before the mash. Little catch on in a flap. Before the mash. When they do the monster mash. Where's that old square Henry? Drax said hi. Wow, he won't be making an appearance tonight. Wow. Frankenstein, what about scientists? Come on, tell us about it. Frankenstein is the scientist. My name's Adam. And then they mashed. They did the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. It got dark in a flash. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. The crew were all having fun. The party had just begun. The music was awfully rocking. The band and guest list the same and one. Mash, 
ones, welcome to the Vampire Sisters 3. You see lively and unison, reminiscing about old blight. You see one blood sepesh trying to hunt his prey. But Nina's gaze seems to be over Carmilla's way. She did the monster match. Oh, she did that graveyard smash. Oh, it caught on in a flash. Jim Hawkins seemed out of place for a while But as his accordion bellowed, he couldn't help but smile Winston Smith sat hunched, typing on his old PC It was just for one
They can talk to you. They make you say anything. They can't make you believe it. They can't get inside you. They can't get to your heart. <laughs> 